Hi everyone, welcome back to TechUturo, where we make programming and web concepts simple and easy to understand. Today, we'll learn how to use Bootstrap to quickly design responsive and modern websites, without writing too much CSS. Let's get started. So, what exactly is Bootstrap? Bootstrap is a free CSS framework that gives us pre-made styles for layouts, buttons, forms, and navigation. It's super useful because it makes websites mobile-friendly and saves us time, instead of coding everything from scratch. Alright, let's start by setting up Bootstrap in our project. There are actually two ways to use Bootstrap. One is by downloading the files and linking them locally, and the other is by using a CDN link, which is the easiest for beginners. CDN stands for Content Delivery Network. Basically, Bootstrap's files are hosted online and we just link to them instead of keeping them on our computer. Now, where do we put these links? Very simple. The CSS link goes inside the head section of your HTML, so that styles load before the page shows. The JavaScript link goes right before the closing body tag, so it loads after the page content. To check if it's actually working, we simply just try using one of Bootstrap's built-in classes. In this example, the heading has two bootstrap classes, text primary which makes the text blue, and text center which centers it. The button uses btn and btn success, which should give us a nice green button. If you see those styles in your browser, that means bootstrap is working correctly. If it still looks plain, then it means the bootstrap link wasn't added properly. Let's explore some of its most useful features. First, Let's talk about the container and grid system, which is the foundation of bootstrap layouts. A container is like a wrapper that centers your content and gives it proper spacing. Inside the container, we create a row, and then inside that row, we put columns using the call class. By default, bootstrap divides the page into 12 columns. So if we just write call, bootstrap will automatically make them equal width. If we want more control, we can use call 6 or call 4, which means this column will take up 6 or 4 parts out of 12. This makes creating responsive layouts so much easier. Next, let's look at buttons. Normally, we'd have to write a lot of CSS just to style buttons. But with Bootstrap, all we need is the BTN class plus a color class like BTN Primary or BTN Success. As you can see, Bootstrap already gives them padding, rounded corners and colors that follow a consistent design system. You can choose from different styles like primary, success, danger, warning, info, light, and dark. And if you want different sizes, you can add classes like BTNLG for a large button or BTNSM for a smaller one. Another really powerful feature is the bootstrap navbar. Navigation bars usually take a lot of CSS to build from scratch, but here's a simple example in bootstrap. Just with a few lines, we get a responsive navbar that automatically adjusts on smaller screens. You can add links, drop-downs, and even a search bar inside. If you shrink the window, the navbar collapses into a hamburger menu, and that works without writing any extra JavaScript, since Bootstrap's JavaScript file already handles it. Now let's check out forms. Forms are one of the trickiest parts to design, but Bootstrap makes them look clean instantly. We just use classes like form control for inputs and btn for buttons, and they instantly look neat and professional. Here's a quick example with three fields, name, email, and password, plus a submit button. Notice how the spacing, alignment, and design are already handled for us, with almost no extra work. Finally, one of the best things about Bootstrap is responsiveness. For example, if we have three columns in a grid, they'll show side by side on a big screen. But if we shrink the browser window, we'll see that they stack on top of each other for smaller screens. This happens because Bootstrap uses something called media queries behind the scenes, so we don't have to code them manually. And that's it. In this video, we learn how to set up Bootstrap, use containers and grids, create buttons, build a navbar, style forms, and most importantly, make our website responsive. With just a few classes, Bootstrap saves us hours of CSS work and gives us a modern, 
professional-looking website. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to hit like and subscribe to TechyTuro for more beginner-friendly coding and web development tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.